Okay, everyone, wild hair, no, no haircuts. Standing up, better camera angle. Today, the number two reason, the number two reason you should vote Kagan. This time, it has to do with my opponent, Mark Catlin, who is a global climate change denier, to judge from his record. Check out my Facebook page. Catlin's mentor, Don Quorum, state senator, former state rep, wrote a letter to the editor in the Montrose Press defending Mark and kind of going after me. It was sweet. Like that letter? Anyway, I wrote a letter back. We'll see if they publish it. So why vote Kagan? Why vote Kagan? Because my opponent, Mark Catlin, has a horrific record on one of the most important issues facing humanity, which is climate change. I had to write down these, uh, write it down, because these are all the things he voted against just in 2019. He voted against a huge bill that would have required, that did require it passed, the Oil and Gas Commission to prioritize safety, welfare, the environment, and wildlife over industry profits. A huge, huge progressive move in Colorado, something we should all be proud of. Mark voted against it. He voted against extending tax credits for electric vehicles. He voted against incentivizing utility companies to create great charging stations. Why did he vote against all these climate change conservation measures? Either he's a climate change denier, he's ignorant and proud of it, or he's in the pocket of the oil and gas industry, or he's just marching in lockstep with his party, or all three. There's some more stuff. This is a really good one. This is a really good one. Why would Mark Catlin vote against providing benefits to coal industry workers and communities that suffer economic hardship due to the transition to renewable energy. Like that's something even like right wingers should be for, right? I mean, helping people who, coal workers who get displaced from their jobs. Hey, Mark Catlin, why'd you vote against that? Man, the guy, the guy is just, it's just weird, all right? It's just weird. So here's the thing. We can do better. The good news is that the Colorado General Assembly has a Democratic majority, and most of these measures passed this year, setting Colorado on a progressive path when it comes to climate change. No thanks to Mark Catlin. Vote him out. Thanks. Catch you next time. Hey, everybody, I, I had to come back. I was editing and um, I, I just thought of something. Maybe the reason Mark Catlin wants to punish the, the mine workers by, by, by not helping them when they lose their jobs is because that way they'll, they'll suffer even more and, and they'll blame the libtards even more for costing them their jobs than they already do and they'll keep voting Republican. Maybe, the, maybe I'm underestimating him.